I'm Amanda Hoggett, Managing Editor at Bobbit. I recently attended an event in Loveland, Colorado, hosted by Lightning E-Motors and Perone Robotics. There, I got to witness the result of a partnership between the two companies for a fully electric autonomous vehicle. And it's all because of Perone's new system called Tony that offers level two or level four autonomous driving. At the event, we got to see the system up close and experience riding in one of Lightning's class three electric delivery vans in autonomous mode. Check out what happened in the rest of this video. Buy American, FMVSS compliant, ADA compliant, all electric, fully autonomous transit vehicle. So there's nothing that checks those boxes that is out there and available now, such as this vehicle is for operating in, uh, in transit applications today. We as a company, Prone Robotics, have, have worked and perfected this um, vehicle agnostic, if you will, autonomous vehicle kit. AV kit, and uh, we call it Tony, short for to navigate you. But it's um, but uh, but what's been important is, is also working with partners like uh, like Lightning. They've got they've got a vehicle agnostic electrification solution. So their um, ability to bring electrification into existing vehicles, and our ability to bring this sort of virtual driver um, into existing vehicles is just a perfect. Uh, marriage and fusion of interests that gives us immediate access to uh, a much larger market of, of applications and just exactly the kind of applications that we're focused on now so that's why I'm super excited about this partnership. We're very bullish that this is something when you ride in it today you'll say yeah this works in a campus environment this, this is something we can sell today and that's the way we're thinking about this can we sell it today and Paul is and we are and then also how do we extrapolate to the future to continue to have value. The price is clearly going to come down, the ability to put it on lots of different platforms, the ability to do both logistics last mile, school buses and campuses. Basically, it's like Legos for autonomous vehicles. Yeah. We have yeah. compute modules and um, and what we call communication modules and I/O modules that allow us to stack. If we need to add more complexity, we need to add another layer of computing. So what you're what you're seeing for is we've we've removed all of the internal combustion engine components here, uh, the engine, the exhaust system, the gas tank, all that's been removed. This is our powertrain. All the stuff that we build, it rolls in mounts into the exact same engine mounts that were the old engine was in. We use in this vehicle we use the same drive shaft. This is the original uh, same differential. This is just the powertrain, the motor, and the batteries go into it.
know if you can see the mm -hmm. my hands and feet are on anything. This is a user interface tablet. I'm going to hit the play button. It, it just laid down the uh, yellow trail that you see the routes on. It's going to follow that route. We're going to yield to this uh, Dodge Suburban here. It's also looking down that lane to see if there's any oncoming traffic coming. If there is, it will yield to it. It won't go until it senses the intersection is clear. This is a pretty tight turn for this size of a vehicle right here for this bus. Does a good job. I kind of look at that like threading the needle. <laughs> and then if I want to take over, I push this button on the door. And all of a sudden, you know, I can take the throttle, brake, and steering. It's my car, my vehicle. And then I push the button, we take right back off the autonomous mode. So one of the other, um, while we're doing what's called level four autonomy here, which, you know, Ralph isn't intervening, level two, if he were to manually drive, all the same technology can be acting as a safety overlay to right? do forward collision, forward collision avoidance. The, stop. Um, the side radar is calculating speed, it knows if it's safe to pull out or not. So now that we cleared the intersection, we're going to pull out. So in level two mode, it only kicks in when it needs to. Right, yeah. The human driver can be driving it, and then... Um, right now it's looking both ways. And then it would, uh, you know, if there's a sudden unexpected thing that someone doesn't see, because, you know, we only can look straight ahead, but there's sensors 360 degrees all around this vehicle. reach its destination and it's going to shut down. Our own manufacturing components to this as well as buying best in breed components. So all of the framework you see here, all the metal, the, uh, the power distribution unit which is in here, all of the wire harnessing, all of that is all done in-house here. And then we do things like the electric heater because we don't have a motor that's generating heat anymore from cabin heat. So we've got to put an electric heater on it. So this is uh, like a Mitsubishi heater. Uh, you know, millions and millions of proven miles on this thing. Nothing's ever going to go wrong. We're constantly looking at what's next on the horizon uh, as it relates to electric vehicles. And we want to partner with the, the, the companies that are the thought leaders in those areas. 
robotics. Well, right. Run Robotics is one of those. We, we work with Blood Power, for example, on hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. It's just another example of how we're looking at the future and how we can partner with the, the thought leaders in those spaces to, to give our customers you know, a leg up in the technologies.